I charge hundred thousand dollar for a future. The video reviews. Moving on, Made Kuti addressed those dragging him for abandoning his uncle Sheung Kuti. But before I commence fully on the gist, welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trending latest matters happening on social media. If you have not already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new video. To all our wonderful subscribers, much love from we here. Thank you so much for always staying tuned. And to all our viewers, relax, enjoy, and stay tuned. The award-winning Afrobeat singer David Adeleke, better known as David Do, revealed the amount of money he charges for a future. In a recent interview, David Do stated that instead of featuring international artists for free, he is not charging them. The charge is now is $100,000, that is $46 million, plus a video if he knows the person. Just take a look. You feel like it's the other way around now? What's up? Nigga, I'm charging now. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, you need? I'm charging now. I'm sending my lawyers. What's the feature cost? Right now, shit. It's timeless. Six figures? Nah, man. 100, 100. 100? If I, if I know you, 100. If, you, if I know you, that's the <laughs> <same> price. <laughs> if I know you, 100. And that's then, not bad. And then the video, and then... The video that. cost, that's what... Weeks back, the video reviewed the exorbitant amounts he spent on his last album. He revealed in an interview that he spent nearly $2 million on his former album titled a better time he spent 300,000 on his new album and he got more than the money in three days despite the exorbitant amount he has spent he's grateful that african music is improving it wasn't surprising when the video reviewed a hefty amount he paid to shoot a music video for one of his songs in his new album with tj omore the video paid video director tj omore a whopping hundred million to shoot the video of a record of his fourth studio album titled timeless he disclosed this in an interview with beat fame Lagos. the video is the most expensive in the history of nigeria music he was so excited about the record and he is proud to say that the video he shot with tj omore was the first 100 million naira video in Nigeria. The video released his long awaited and highly anticipated album, Timeless, on 31st March 2023. The video was like six day shoot, but he came for three and shot the other three days later. It was like a storyline. Shout out to him, he's so amazing. Moving on, Made Kuti, Nigeria singer and nephew to embattled musician Shen Kuti has finally addressed his choice over his lack of support for his uncle, Sheung Kuti, who was arraigned in court on Monday. And many Nigeria went on Made Kuti page to accuse him of not being there for his uncle's arraignment. He proved them wrong by sharing a photo of him and his father, Femi Kuti, in the court premises, stating that he doesn't live for social media and he doesn't like the fact that he has to post things to prove himself. Because of this, many has been cursing them under his father's post, swearing at them for doing nothing. But they are doing everything they can as family in order to seek for justice for Shion Okoti. They just have to accept. There is much more to life than what people see on their phones. Shion Okoti was on Tuesday arraigned before a magistrate court sitting in Yaba, Lagos State. The defendant was charged with assault on a police officer, an offense contrary to Section 356 of the Nigeria Criminal Code Act. The police prosecutor, Adebasi, prayed the court to remind the defendant for 21 days pending legal advice from the Directorate of Public Prosecution. The counsel led by Femi Falani, Sun begged the court not to remind his client because he was not aware of the remind application. The video of Sheung Kuti assaulting a police officer on the third mainland bridge in Lagos State went viral on Saturday. He turned himself in at the Lagos State Police Command Ikeja on Monday following an order for his arrest by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba. He was later transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department, Panty Lagos. Last night, the officer of the Lagos State Police Command stormed his home to raid his house in Allen Avenue. Why the singer who was handcuffed waited inside one of the police vehicles? Benjamin Hondi, spokesman of the command, says a warrant was duly obtained for the raid. The video of the raid created a stir on the internet. 
as many Nigeria were angry, they questioned if there is any other crime he committed apart from assaulting the police officer. So guys, whatever be your thoughts, contributions, opinion, do hit us up in the comment section. We'd we'll love to hear from you. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscriber button to subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time till I come your way again. Do stay blessed.